afternoon, peeps. Today we're going to talk about, hopefully, the Mark 10 and the variants that came with it. Um, this is a Mark 10e, which is one of the later models. Uh, but we first started in 1981 when they came into service as a standard Mark 10. And the Mark 10, as a standard format, only had one tank. And it was a um, water foam premix tank of about 300 gallons. Um, came in, it had a uh, V903 Cummins engine, um, producing about 300 brake horse at the time. And it was a 4x4 vehicle, but we had the luxury of standard drive was rear drive. And then when we were going cross country or rough ground, we could throw a lever in the cab and turn it into a four wheel drive vehicle. Also to combine with that, it had um, differential locks that we could lock as well as if the train really got rough. One or two members of the museum staff have bumped one of these in in our careers over the past. However, that happens with all types of vehicles. So the Mark 10, it was the first vehicle after the Mark 6, so many years after the Mark 6, that came in that was centre wheel drive. Um, all our other ones, so your Mark 7s, your Mark 8s, your Mark 9s, were all normal right hand drive. And then they brought in this concept of a centre drive so your two crewmen could be either side of the driver. Everybody had good visibility then of what was going on on the approach to an incident. Came fitted with a monitor at the top. Um, that at full chat would produce uh, something like 150 gallons a minute and it would um, have a jet throw of about 49 metres at full pressure. This is, it was then refitted with two tanks, so it had a water tank and a separate foam tank, so we could dual purpose the vehicle and use it on domestic structural type fires. But also, it was fitted with the turbo, which boosted the brake horse from 300 to 500 brake horse with that turbo. concept with having a centre wheel drive it was also a rear engine vehicle um, which now all concept vehicles of this type for airports are rear engine you don't get front engines anymore it gives a crew cab much more room for everybody to work and see what they're doing um, other than that yes it was a not a bad vehicle it worked alongside mark lines and attack two would be the crash line <laughs> 